If you're concerned and you're storing up food for long term for SHTF or just any kind of emergency, having a garden is really the most sensible way to go. And even if you have a small plot that you're just growing a few vegetables, it gives you a lot of knowledge, it gives you experience, because the last thing you want to do is to be in a bad situation and then trying to get the learning curve up on your gardening skills. And having gardening skills, not only is it great to make you a little more self-sufficient, but it's also a very healthy lifestyle. And it gets you out of the house and it gets you working and you can get your entire family involved. For a good while now, I've been looking for a great deer repellent and been to many lawn and garden shops and they have all kind of different repellents. In fact, I have about three different types. And what's really funny is anytime you ask the guys at the lawn and garden shops, they'll tell you that this stuff really doesn't work that well. And I've heard that you can cut hair, put hair out and that'll stop them. And you know, I've never really found anything that works. And other than a fence that's over six feet high, but if you have a deer problem, it can be really difficult to overcome using traditional type methods. Now last year we took and made a little fence and took some of the old rebar, it's really inexpensive, just drove it down into the ground and then I had this wire, or you can use string, and uh, just attached it to make a fence, just an open fence around the perimeter of the garden. And last year we used plastic bags. This year I took some tin foil made a little, almost a little pinwheel and just wrapped it around. And so this should deter the deer. The bags did a great job last year, but they would get water in them and then they would soak up and they would fall. But here you can see, I have them spaced out and I have two different levels. And you know, you may look at this and go, why in the world would that re repel deer? But one of the things that it does, any little breeze or any movement along the wire causes the tinfoil to not only move and to reflect, even if it's reflecting sunlight or moonlight, but it also makes a little bit of a noise. And that noise is enough to spook deer. And I'll tell you what, we have a bunch of deer in this area. In fact, one night I was down here doing a video on uh, flashlights and I shined the light down and I saw 28 eyes which means that there were 14 deer and they were pretty much standing right in this area. And then of course, somewhat back into the woods a little bit, but they were everywhere. And it was very discouraging. In fact, a couple of years ago, I was, my garden was just overrun by deer and they ate the zucchini all the way down to the stalk. And it was very disheartening. In fact, the next year I didn't even have a garden. And that was actually three years ago. And so, you know, it's really a battle if you're not doing it. But this is a really simple way to be able just to run up some string, run some simple post in the ground, and then attach this tinfoil, and this will keep the deer out. Now, I'm going to update as things go along and as the garden continues to grow and gets bigger uh, in the season. So just watch for that. But I think this is a really, real simple solution to a, an age-old problem. And one of the things also that I'm doing this year that's new is I'm taking really black dirt. And this dirt comes from the woods. Actually, it comes from where leaves have fallen and they've never been raked up. And they produce a really incredible, dark, rich, mineral filled, uh, something to base around your plants. This protects your plants, but it also uh, gives them a lot of nutrients. And so even in the planting, I've been putting this in all my planting and it's really helping these to grow very fertile and it's so easy to do. Here we have leaves just in the woods and you get those that first layer out. Underneath is going to be nice dark rich soil and especially if you're gardening in a certain area for a long time this is really going to be great for your garden. It's going to add minerals and nutrients and it's not going to cost you anything to use it. Of course, not all of us have woods, but you probably have a place close by that you could probably go and get some of this dirt without having to go to Lowe's or Home Depot. But it gives you a nice, rich soil base. Here's another area, and this is actually near one of our storage buildings. And you can see even that leafy area, this dark, then you have this dirt underneath. And you really know it's good when you start having worms in there. 
and worms are fantastic for your garden. They aerate the dirt and it really makes the soil even better. I mean, look how black that dirt is. Here's a big wheelbarrow full of really rich black dirt. And this is where we were clearing out an area around the house to plant flowers. And this was a lot of the extra dirt that was left. And I'll tell you, we're going to pull out some of these weeds and things, but this is going to be excellent to go in our raised beds. Now, having a little composter is also an excellent way, not only to have great fertile uh, compost, but it also is a great place to be able to get rid of a lot of things that you have household, whether it's coffee grounds, eggshells, uh, you know, even food that's vegetable based. You can throw this on here, leaves, dirt, you know, different things to really create an incredible base for your growing. Here we have a lid. You just start pushing things in there. You start out with a base of leaves and sticks. And then as things start to come together, you have a little door here and on the other side that you can pull out your uh, compost. And then all the stuff on top that's fresher is still up top and it starts to settle down. So it's just a great way to recycle and yet save you money and have some really incredible uh, compost for your garden. Well, and your flowers for that matter. We're just getting this started. So this is something again that I'll be updating you coming up on how this is going. Gardening is great. It keeps you healthier. You're eating healthy foods. You're staying active. It's an activity the families can enjoy. But the most important thing is you're becoming even that much more self-reliant. And if things ever get tough and food prices soar, you'll have a great source of good, healthy vegetables to be able to keep you and your family alive. And if nothing ever happens, then you just really eat well. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. And just took some of the uh, rebar wire. I mean, and really, I just like good veggies. <laughs>